Hey, DOT community, this is Alon coming at you with another DOT video. And in this video, I'm going to show off some of the new parts of the Lands Awakening new 1.16 update coming to Dawn of Titans. So here we go. Um, one of the first things uh, that you probably saw in my thumbnail is, is Venom Tusk is completely different. Um, I just want to pop him up here real quick. He is one of the um, beta um, uh, titans that came out. Um, all the boar titans, Venom Tusk, um, Snow Gore, and uh, uh, Flamehide, all three of them uh, were all uh, revamped along with Grimvald. And I'm not sure if the other Solgar and uh, um, I'm actually forgetting the other uh, Viking titan right now. Um, but I don't know if they actually got changed either, but they might have um, when it comes down to graphics because they were um, still a little bit lacking in uh, uh, how t tight the artwork was um, compared from where they came from the beta build. Um, so anyway, pretty cool. Um, one of the first things right off here in the kingdom I'm going to show off is here at the gold mines as you see normally you would see the icon of the gold would show up there if it was after like i don't know uh 20 minutes or something like that you'd start seeing that you could grab some gold um but now it actually fills up um to show you the kind of where your gold is at so you don't have to look at the little bins anymore um because that's how i at least knew how much gold was in there was just based on how filled the bins were um because there was always a gold icon there all the time, pretty much. Same thing here with the food. Uh, the food icons here are filling up, as you can see at the very bottom there. I've collected recently, so that's why they're not that far up. So I just know not to, just to not collect right now, and they need a lot, a little bit more time. Um, another cool thing is the army camp. Um, this is These are all very small things on the sides, but they're huge for gameplay. Um... I got 50 more troops available in my army camp um, than what I had as my current level uh, castle level 15 that I am. Uh, there, there you go. You can see the 15 there. Castle for level 15. Um, but uh, I was going to say the um, nice thing about it is being able to do that now. Um, anyway, so... Uh, have that extra 50 troops. So, and also to the Spellforge, um, you're also able to carry more um, troops troops as uh, I mean um, how many uh, spells that you can have in regular inventory as well is up if I go here I could show I have spell 145 now instead of the hundred so it's 45 extra spells that were pretty much just thrown right in there so now I have a ridiculous amount of spells to be able to use but I believe and as Bo mentioned in the live stream um, uh, a little bit earlier uh, it, uh, talking with DBR and we also had infinity on and uh, um, uh, Candor Kid on there as well, while discussing the game. Uh, Bo was mentioning that the uh, um, amount of spells and the amount of troops will be necessary for um, all the lands that everybody will be defending, because um, as we go out here, I will show you the lands. Now, I have here two lands. We got a VP, which is blue mountains. Oh, sorry, where? And then we have a farm. Now, notice this one's green and this one's blue underneath. This one has nothing because there is no, no, no troops on it whatsoever. So without actually having any troops on it, it's generating, as we see, nothing here in the top right corner. Zero per hour. But it has 453,749 available. So as I go to defend it, I'm going to throw on... Not Venom Tusk, I want to I fight with him later. I'm going to make a couple videos, so... Let's see. We'll just throw on Sarkon. And as I throw more troops on, you can see the number here is getting higher and higher and higher for generation of resources. And we'll throw on some grenadiers. 
and also the new the new uh, numbers for defense. Uh, the numbers are a little bit uh, different again, so everybody's gonna have to figure out there with the spells added and with the up oh, and there you go. You see the gold is now underneath. It is now generating. It is also now at, uh, attackable because you cannot attack lands that are not defended. So. Um, when it, having a whole bunch of undefended lands doesn't do you any good, but it also doesn't do anybody else any good. It's kind of just a big waste. So having defenses on lands is going to be pretty important, or else you don't, especially for your VP, you're not going to generate any VP. Now, you can see also the number here is ticking down in the top left. So 20,844 VP, and it just keeps going down from there. And you can see lootable. So the stuff that it's generating right now is what is lootable and it does not take away from your main garrison which is very helpful um so it doesn't take away from your um actual overall now the lootable vp at your garrison i believe is still based on how much vp you have so the 3888 vp that i have right there the lootable garrison um number is based out of that um, because your garrison doesn't actually generate VP. All right, so pretty cool, pretty cool. Of course, I have one of each. And then up here, every... Let's see, 12 hours and 46 minutes until we can do it again. I think we ju it just happened. I think it's every 16 hours. I think, uh... I think I might have misspoke on the live stream earlier. I think it's every 16 hours that you can do this. Because this is obviously above 12 hours, and I said 12 hours on the live stream, so that wasn't true at all. But it is interesting that the lands are super dead up here. And, like, like gloomy, dark, can't really, you know, and then as soon as you activate them and defend them, they're actually, you know, they light up and become alive. Now, the capture cost is only one. One stone, compared to capturing off of other players, which is six. So that is nice as well. So, um, what else? What else? Uh, this was lands that. All right, let's go into real quick. It's just the second part of this video, and then I will be making some other videos about some other aspects of the new update as well. And stay tuned today. I hope to come out with them later today. Um, and here with Venom Tusk, we're going to look at the info card. The info card is all different now for all your Titans. Gives you an actual, what their actual, um, uh, starting, whenever you, um, start a battle and you put your Titan in, the, the first, uh, uh base, the, um, uh, attack number is what they are. So you get that right at the top, you know what they're actually going to be at, basing attack. Class champion, health, damage, and then the speed rating, which is different. Um, of course, uh, Berserkers and Infiltrators are faster, and I've also heard that some of the um, special titans such as Grimvald and others such um, of the large Viking titans, um, including the new um, Skullgrim, uh, he is um, also part of that same group. So their speed is sp supposedly is around 20. That's based on information I got from DBR. So, um, all right, and down here at the bottom, you get the offensive skills. You got piercing, critical, and now we have range and damage area, which is new. And then charge, which we've already known. And then in here, now we can, it's a little bit more information. We still have lightning, which means it looks like well, they're not getting rid of it, obviously, if they still kept it in this build. So, lightning's not going away, so hopefully it will be used soon. Um, and then we have this HP regen, which, of course, everybody's asking lots of questions about. We can't wait to see exactly what that's going to be. Relics, is it going to be Titans? Is it going to be, um, uh, or, um, some sort of spell? Spell, Titan, Relic. Those are the three options that are out there for this HP regen, so hopefully we'll see what happens. And then we have regular Relics, and we have regular Skills. Now, the one last thing, and I'll show you a couple... We will we'll do the daily deal for right now. But I'm going to come back and do some serious uh, fusion and see what happens. And max out some titans. But here, the daily deal is only 2,000. Now, the daily deal is 2,000 on top of the regular 4,000 pull. As you saw what I just did. Halstead seems to be pretty popular <laughs> for this beta build. 
Anyway, so um, with that, that Halstead, his skills are now actually totally unlocked, all of them. We can see all of them compared to all my other Titans because this Titan is part of the new the new Titans that you can pull. Halstead, I don't know if he looks a little bit different. I don't know if his artwork looks a little bit different, but I don't know. That's a good question. But uh, all his skills are unlocked. You can see them all here. Oh, not unlocked. They're all. Vi you can view them all, but they're not all unlocked. You do still have to go and unlock them all, because if you go in here, should show level one for the first skill, and there's no level for the other two. But you do know that for a titan like him, spearman, spearman, archers resist against lightning. He is dumpable. I would not want to keep him around for any good reason. You know, so there you go. Oh, and also here, another quick side note, another small minute change is now the pikemen are now Imperials. I'll just train a bunch of them up so I can take on DBR and Bo later. That'll be some other videos I'm going to take on DBR and Bo. They're also in my server as well. So, all right. Well, that's pretty much... Most of the major things between the Titan skills, the some of the art changes, the land changes, the info card, um, and also the um, pretty much well, the Pikemen are called Imperials now. So, but yeah, so uh, I will come back with a couple other videos showing other stuff out, um, like battles, and also to showing off some of uh, the. Um, other aspects of this build. All right. Thank you all, and I will talk to you later, DOT community.